Man, I can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh, well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? I feel like I've been here before. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just scrolled and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Uncle Eddie warned me about this, but I didn't listen. Oh yeah? What did Uncle Eddie have to say? Just that we've led pretty different lives. We might not really see eye to eye like we used to. Ah, I see. Chief Brown said you shouldn't trust me, so you don't. Got it. Oh, come on. I didn't say that. Is that really what you think? I don't know. It's just that ever since I got back, I felt like I was crashing your party. 
Well, that's all in your head, Ty. I'm not sure what else to say. Hey, you feeling this? Now, you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt? Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks. But that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. So, I have to warn you, I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not ten years old anymore. He'll probably say he's too busy to talk. That's how he tends to avoid conflict. We're not looking for conflict. Just answers. <sighs> Let's be honest. Lately, that's been pretty much the same thing. I haven't been trying to pick fights. You know that, right? I just want closure. That's all. I know. I need some of it, too. Hey! Look what I found! Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Brown. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, 
Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> she's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. They have a really hard time hiring, because I won't lie, it's tough work. And some of the people they do hire don't give a shit about the kids, you know? I knew I could do some good if I stayed, so I did. Yeah, like I said, they were lucky. Service is a calling few people are willing to answer. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh! Do people around here know? No. So, keep it under your hat. You know how it is out here. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a back home. How is Linda? Later. Hey, we don't need anything up there. Come on. Dr. Torres. Eddie's right there. Your Let's go talk to him. During the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you oh boy, fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think so. Different last name? Move on. Yes, her right. father. <laughs> Sorry. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Toilet emergency. Lake water. You know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. <laughs> 